let's find the value of x in this right angle triangle because we are not concerned about the internal angles we're going to consider pythagoras theorem the first step is to identify the longest side the longest side is the side facing the right angle and here we're going to write x squared next we're going to square each of this on the other side and i'm going to have the square root of 15 minus the square root of 3 all squared plus i'm going to square this as well the square root of 15 plus the square root of 3 all squared this is pythagoras theorem next this is x squared i'm going to open this bracket twice that's the meaning of the squared likewise i will open this up twice that means this is now this likewise this becomes this next we're going to expand this bracket here we have x squared the square root of 15 multiplied by the square root of 15 we are going to have the square root of 225 the square root of 225 will return only 15 the square root of 15 multiplied by the square root of 15 will return only 15 next the square root of 15 will multiply minus the square root of 3 plus times minus will give you a minus this is square root of 15 inside the bracket this 3 will also multiply and here we are going to have the square root of 45 according to the law of sod this will become the square root of 45 next minus the square root of 3 will multiply this square root of 15 this is a minus we are going to have the square root of 45 next minus the square root of 3 will multiply minus the square root of 3 minus times minus will give us plus inside the square root 3 will multiply 3 and we're going to have the square root of 9 the square root of 9 will return 3 here i will have only 3 and i will write 3 here now i am done with this bracket next i will have this plus the square root of 15 will multiply the square root of 15 and we are going to have only 15 the square root of 15 will multiply the square root of 3 here we are going to have the square root of 45 the square root of 3 will multiply the square root of 15 we are going to have the square root of 45 next the square root of 3 will multiply the square root of 3 and here we are going to be left with only 3 next minus the square root of 45 we cancel plus the square root of 45 next minus the square root of 45 we cancel plus the square root of 45 next here we have x squared 15 plus 15 is 30 30 plus 3 is 33 and 33 plus 3 will give you 36 next we need the value of x only on this side we have 36 this squared will move across and become a square root and x is the square root of 36 is 6 the value of the longest side is 6 and because we are not given any unit either centimeters or inches or millimeters you are not going to include anyone our final answer 
is just 6.